Hey, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Readings Capricorn. How you doing, darlings? We're going to do your reading. We're going to go to the um, Fountain Tarot. <laughs> fountain Tarot. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's where we're going to go. I just forgot the name of it. But before we do, let's go to the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Cards. I want to pull a card or two out for your all over energy. Sometimes it'll match up with the reading, and sometimes it won't. Capricorn. Well, I gotta, you know, I don't want to make this a love reading, and I hope that it doesn't turn out to be a love reading. Because not all Capricorns are feeling this way, but obviously, what I'm picking up is someone that's got a, a broken heart because someone left. Or maybe you left, and now missing somebody. Could even be someone passed away. And made you feel sad. But let's go to the cards. But more than the cards, let's go to spirit. The spirit is in the room. So I've got, I wouldn't take it because it fell to the left. And it's the Nine of Swords. Capricorn. Capricorn, let spirit speak, darling. Let spirit speak. All right, so I've got the Nine of Swords. I'm just feeling very much alone. Maybe a little bit depressed. Might be in a tower, I hope not. But by the looks of these cards, anxieties or sadness. Can't sleep well. And mostly with the Justice card coming out here. And it's upside down. Feels like there's been no justice. No answers. No reasoning. Kind of like sitting there saying, well, you know what? People suck or the world sucks or... The Hermit coming out here. In the reverse, you're not taking any time to yourself. You're not thinking about you. You might have the Nine of Swords, and you might be in a lot of heartbreak, but you're not thinking about you. Except, except, there's no reasoning. There's no answers. I don't understand. How could this have happened? That's the only thing that you're thinking kind of about you. It appears that with the Hermit in the reverse, you're only thinking about someone else. Let's continue on. I was hoping for a much better reading than this. Let's hope it cheers up a bit. Well, we have strength, and this is good. Thank you, Spirit. We have strength here. Now, it's, it's time. It's freaking time I got up. It's freaking time I, I handled this. Instead of just laying here, day in, day out. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Having the strength to stop thought. The Eight of Swords is a thought tornado. The swirling of thought. Swirling, swirling. That's what the Nine of Swords is. The swirling and swirling and swirling around of thinking. Now, trying to have the strength to stop this tornado of thought. The Seven of Wands letting down your guard in the reverse. Letting down your shields. Peeking out up over the walls that you've built. Continue. Death card. Yes, indeed, it's time to end this. 
has been very painful. It's time to end this and bring in something new. Maybe it's just time to walk away from heartbreak. Time to walk away from sorrow. From things that there was no justice. Time to walk away. Fresh start. With the lovers in the reverse, obviously, there was something about love or someone that you loved that appears to have left. Three of Swords. And that's what it is, see? It appears that love left and there was great heartbreak. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Remember, though, you're walking away. So this is very, very difficult for you. Because we now we're bouncing. And as we heal, that's what we do, Capricorn. We bounce. We bounce high and we bounce low. And we bounce high, we bounce low. This is saying to yourself, I, I've got to have the strength to fight. i got to beat the, this constant, tornadic thing that's going on in my mind of thinking. And with the seven of wands now, I'm going to let down my guard and start peeking up over my walls. And I've got to just end this thing and bring in something new. But then we slide back. But it's okay. Don't beat yourself up about that. That's all a part of healing. Feel good, feel bad. Feel good, feel bad. Feel good for a little longer. Feel bad. A little shorter. Feel good. Longer, longer, longer. It's just all a part of healing. With the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take, wanting equal give and take. And when I've got the Justice card here in the reverse, all you wanted was equal give and take. That's all you required. But with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, this is mm, really feeling that you're letting go. The Nine of Wands in the reverse is I'm letting go. So I'm feeling good. And, and don't beat yourself up when you start sliding back. Because it, then you'll feel good a little bit longer. And you'll release all those worries and tensions off your shoulders. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, this is a work card. So, this is working at it. And this is not working at it. So, think about this for a moment. Let's think about this for a moment. If you're in a relationship of some sort, or it could be a family thing, or a work thing, and something has really driven you to your knees. Something has really brought in Nine of Swords. Nightmare. Something has really distressed you and made you feel bad and inferior. And you walked away from it. But then it's always constantly there. And then you get a little better. And then you go there again. But with the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse... This is saying that you don't have to even work on this. No effort is needed to release this Nine of Wands. Now ain't that a kick? No effort is needed to heal. So, that being said, if you don't really need effort to heal... Does that mean that it really even mattered? So were you suffering, thinking that it was more than it was? And then all of a sudden coming to realization, this is effortless. I don't even know why I was so upset. This is effortless. Why would I carry around these ones? <laughs> I can release them effortlessly. Did it really matter? It's 
continue on. Very interesting. Very interesting. Did it really matter? Because I can release these ones with no work. No effort. Beautiful. With the five of wands in reverse, no fight. Capricorn, what, what was going on here that you thought was so freaking tragic? <laughs> but yet, it was so minuscule. But yet, in your mind, you were thinking that it was so horrifying, so horrible. Mind, air energy, thought, emotion. And then bring spirit in, your second mind, that says, your second mind says, well, this is effortless. Well, I don't even know what you were thinking about. I don't know why you were crying. And, and just looking back and saying, what the hell happened? It's like I was hypnotized or something. You're freaking ten of cups. Well, damn. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I gotta close it up. The Ten of Cups and, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, <laughs> going to going to calmer waters, <laughs> saying okay. <laughs> so this is what I'm picking up, Capricorn. Is you really must have thought that something was very very important in your life, and maybe it made you feel like you were traumatized. And the possibility is it was just all in your head. And I just feel that um, you're going to come to realization, like, oh, what, what the hell? Why, why was I so upset? Why was I so distraught when it was just so effortless to walk away? It, it, it's just, I don't know what this is. I, I hate to think that a cross watcher might be crying right now, but God love you, darling doesn't resonate it's not your reading but I, I just feel that you get your ten of cups coming in this is success this is your house home your joy your love your you're your wonderful think of think of ten things to put into those ten cups that you that you desire and with the six of swords this is just going to those calmer waters and it's time to go you, you might actually even with Ten of Cups, I always call house home. You might be moving. It might be time to <laughs> just move. So this is what I have for your reading, Capricorn. It's it's very interesting. I don't think I've had quite a reading like this before. But, but let's see who's here. Well, we have Scorpio and Gemini. Scorpio and Gemini. Um, Leo is here. There's a Virgo. Uh, Libra is here. These are the signs that are prominent in your reading. Um, Capricorn. <laughs> oh, God love you, darling. You know? <laughs> Waking up. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like and share. And before you go, reach back and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. So you know the next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. Namaste, Capricorn. Namaste.